Hello guys and welcome back to Dark Horse FM and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you the tactic that I'm using with Real Madrid currently in my football manager bunker save that's what I'm going to call it it's going to be called the bunker save because currently I don't actually have time to play football manager with a hands-on approach due to the power outage that I've been having in my state really and um, in my state recently because there has um, we had a storm and then the power lines were cut so it's been a while and they're still under construction anyway so hopefully we're going to have power back very soon but the small time i have to actually play football manager it's once in a while when i go to a coffee shop i'll hang around with my friends that's when i have time to load up fm and that's like barely an hour or two or even less so for a week i've been running this football manager save with real madrid currently in la liga and these are the results that we've been having so far we've probably had good games in friendlies i haven't actually gone far in the save anyway but the tactic that i'm using right now is something quite special because it's the tactic without instructions it's a blank tactic no instructions okay except team instructions so when creating this tactic i opted for something really simple but the way the tactic is set up it, it's not really designed for real madrid per se so it kind of gives it that sketchy feeling about how i'm going to use it and make it work for real madrid but so far so good it has been working and i didn't do anything to add instructions to the players we're going to look at the instructions much later and so like i said the tactic has no instructions whatsoever no player instructions but there are team instructions as well the mentality is attacking and we're going to go into the team instructions in detail but to be just to just to confirm looking at the player instructions we could see that the goalkeeper is super keeper on support it's no instructions you can see all the players they don't have any instructions wing both ball playing defenders on defend duty two wing backs on support no instructions whatsoever all the players that you see here all their play all their player instructions are completely blank so that's the way the tactic is set up so you can use this and just set the player instructions in to set the player roles in this manner and that's the tactic all set up and then we'll go into the team instructions real quick in the defensive midfield position is a deep is a defensive midfielder on support as opposed to the deep line playmaker ideally this tactic may not be something that you would resonate with real madrid most of the time because isco and normally this would be Tony cruz and luka modric so let me just clear that up so you can actually see what we're supposed to see so as it's blank like this so this is Tony cruz and luka modric and then casemiro this can be casemiro and this can be camavinga as well so those are the players that are using these roles and then most of the time i can use isco as a metal on attack pt and both central midfielders are metal as on attack so one player the idea behind this tactic is that the metal is going to roam around in this position here to try and draw the central midfielders or the defensive midfielders and indeed the center half of the opposition team to try and draw them out and while they are drawing them out the inside the inside forward I really wanted to use an inverted winger in these positions but the inside forward tend to cut inside and then support the striker so it's basically there are three strikers in the tactic and then the central midfielders which are the metalers tend to go out wide and then create that gap for the um for the inside forward and the at the advanced forward to actually get into so while that is happening in the attacking phase of the field while the inside forwards tend to cut inside and try and support the striker the wing backs on um, support duty are the ones that actually overlap in space and try and whip in those crosses and offer the width in the tactic the ball playing defenders tend to carry the ball and dribble as much as i've begged them not to do that they still do that anyway and that's because there are no instructions so basically the players are playing according to their player preferred moves and with real madrid um there's a lot of player um, player preferred moves for certain players so they, they kind of just do what they what they would normally do in their normal position so there are no instructions for anybody now moving into the team instructions then when the team is out of possession we have a standard defensive line but a much higher sorry but a higher line of engagement not much higher the pressing is also more often to, that's not using the extremely urgent pressing because i know i have central midfielders that are quite aging that's to increase and look at much they're not the most dynamic or not the most aggressive players so more urgent pressing is actually useful for us and then having that high line of engagement that well quite helps the team has also been asked to get stuck in i don't really like this instruction so you can take it off if you notice that your team is getting a lot of fouls but i'm just using it to the tactic to try and impose our players to try and impose ourselves on the opposition a lot more because the pressing intensity is not that high so combining it with a get stuck in instruction actually helps i also included that the team uses the offside trap looking at real madrid they actually have good technical players in defense so the defense can actually spring the offside trap quick and um, quite quickly on the opposition and looking at the in transition phase now the team has been asked to counter press and also hit them on the counter madrid are very very good on the counter attack they're probably one of the best counter attacking teams in the world for the past decade so i have to admit 
um, asking the team to play on the counter attack and also including that the goalkeeper distributes it quickly. So Thibaut Koto is actually going to go beyond himself here a little bit and try to throw that ball into the fullback's position and then also to the central midfielder. So the ball starts from the fullback and the central defenders as the ball playing defenders. When we are in possession and if you've been following the channel quite well, if, you, if you're following Dark Horse F and you realize that I'm the kind of person that will want to use a slower tempo and a more possession based style of play. But with Real Madrid, I literally just wanted to have fun. So I just let the team play with a standard passing mentality because I know that Madrid are quite a fast team and also a very technical team. So forcing them to play on short passing wasn't going to be very helpful. So I just let the team play with a standard passing directness and also ask them to play with a higher tempo. You can see that I've also been asked to run at defense and be more expressive, just have some fun. That's the idea behind this tactic. The team's width is also wide. That helps the Metzala in central midfield. So they're going to spread the opposition's defense out wide and then cut, allow the inside forwards to cut inside. The wing backs will also help the Metzala in stretching the pitch a lot more to allow the inside forwards and the central attacking that's the advanced forward Benzema I really wanted to use him as a deep line forward but for this tactic I was using the advanced forward because I wanted to actually get into that space left behind by the spread or the stretched up defense wrapping up the team instructions then we can see that I also included play after defense that's as much as I want the goalkeeper to start the play quite quickly I want him to send it out to the central defenders and the wing backs that are that's the first any player on the back line so they can start the play from there as opposed to kicking it long to try and um, allow oppositions to like have a tussle in the air that's not what I'm looking for so that's basically how I set the team up and that's all the instructions I used looking at the mentality I left this on attacking during this game uh, let's look at the shadow quickly I actually had a game against Manchester City that I used the attacking mentality and it failed terribly so I created a second tactic that is more um, balanced and more cautious let me use the cautious mentality but it's not using a cautious mentality per se it's just the same tactic with the balanced mentality so I can use this tactic to play those big games where we are expected to not be so open against the opposition for games like Sevilla so this balanced tactic actually helped us get good results against Sevilla if I can just get my shadow to open will it okay there we are a big game against Sevilla I used the balanced mentality to play that game but the Valencia game was an attacking mentality that we used for that game as well so these are the two versions of the tactic that I can actually include but I'm going to only send I'm going to only attach one version of the tactic which is the attacking mentality so when you when you if you've downloaded the tactic you want to just copy the tactic to this to a second slot and then change the mentality to balance that's all that's the second version of the tactic that is literally what i did here i just changed the mentality to balance which is something i'm going to use for big games we are real madrid there's no reason why we should play with the cautious mentality ever when it comes to set pieces i know madrid have slightly tall players but they're not the tallest team in la liga they're not the tallest team in the world as well from what i've noticed using real madrid apparently it's been a long time i've used an elite side so this was quite a break from everything i'm used to in football manager so looking at the corner routines that i'm talking about this is the way it's set up in defense i don't think i touched anything in their defense really but in the attacking phase this is what i use for the attacking corners i set the one central defender to play on the far post so you can have the corner taker Tony cruz cross the ball to the far post and then have a header there you can have casemiro in this role as much as sometimes i normally swap this player the dm and the central the dm and the central defender in this role just swap these two players so depending on who is on the field if i want casemiro at the far post i'll have him at the far post so depending on the this player should be tall by the way so you have one of the tallest players there and have him um, have the corner taker swing the ball to the far post it's the same thing on the left hand side that's the exact same corner i use i know normally the near post corner tends to work in this game but i just opted for something really different this time by going for this far post corner so guys that's a summary of the tactic i'm still in september anyway because i i like i mentioned i don't really have a lot of time to play football manager right now because we are actually struggling with power outage so currently right now i think i've played this save for about a week now and i'm just in my how many how many games have i played so far it hasn't even been that long but there's something special about this tactic and i do know it's going to get us good results in the game looking at the data hub so far i wanted something really blank so you can see that we have a 2.40 expected goals this is bound to get higher why i said so is because the teams i've played so far are probably the top teams bar barcelona that's besides barcelona I've technically faced everybody that is supposed to give me trouble. So that's Barcelona and Atletico Madrid. Um, besides Barcelona and Atletico Madrid, really. We've played Sevilla, we've played Athletic Bilbao, and we've played Valencia as well. So it's interesting to see how far the tactic is going to go. And also, I'm interested to see how the tactic will work for you. If a tactic without any instructions can actually help you get amazing results in the game. But so far, so I go, this is the tactic that I'm using for Real Madrid currently. And it's a save that I'm, using, I'm playing right now because I can't go into an in-depth 
style of playing football manager i can't use my hands on approach because i currently do not have the access to power that i normally used to have before so it's been about two weeks now and hopefully this is going to be sorted really soon and i'm going to be back creating more in-depth analysis of football manager tactics i'm going to have a lot of tactics for you to a lot of tactics to share with you guys as when everything is back in order so for now let me know how this tactic work out for you guys thanks for sticking out with the video for this long and i'll catch you guys in the next video hopefully that will be much sooner